I wasn't uh, raised, raised in Philadelphia, but I'm raised in the suburbs. But my parents played a lot of jazz, so I was really influenced by uh, the uh, uh, culture of Philadelphia in terms of the music. I grew up in the 60s, so there was uh, the uh, Patti LaBelle, the, uh, the uh, Blue Notes, and uh, Stylistics, and uh, Delphonics. And uh, Philadelphia had a real good jazz scene that was important and um, through my parents I was influenced by that. My first love was rock and roll, still love it, but jazz is what uh, I thrive on. Philadelphia is so rich with jazz culture, with the music culture. Um, there's Barbara Walker, there's Sid Simmons, there's Aaron Graves, the piano player, there's um, Sammy Jones, Stacy Harkham, Donald Robinson, all these great musicians, Phyllis Hyman, Patti Bell, who I had the pleasure of backgrounding for. We're blessed to be in Philadelphia. Philadelphia has, if you talk about uh, musicians, let's just talk about the orchestra. Philadelphia has the greatest organ players ever. The greatest ever was Jimmy Smith. Behind him was um, whatever, Jack McDuff, it. Jimmy McGriff, Charles Earl, Julie Pitts, Shirley Scott. I mean, it um, was nothing. We could, you know, that and, no and that's a product anyway, of Philadelphia's church and the kind of strength they had in the uh, in the organ. Philadelphia was the first place the where a African American uh, uh, woman played the organ, learned how to play the organ in a Philadelphia church in 1792. So we have rich, rich tradition. In 1849, Frank Johnson was. The man, the Miles Davis of his time. And so we have tradition to Kenny Gamble and Leon Huff were uh, two of the most prolific writers, producers in uh, American music. And uh, they were only in the <laughs> Rock and Roll Hall of Fame because of one song, if you don't know me by now. So, hey, fill it up with Rich. <laughs> The best thing I liked about John Coltrane was his soothing horn. It was very soothing to me. I listen to a lot of jazz, but he has all different types of ballads that are very interesting to me. John Coltrane was a legend in our history, and he even overcame heroin use to become a, a pioneer in music, and I'm proud to say that. One thing about Train that I don't know if people know is that uh, the guy was, he, he gave back. He was, he was born in the 20s, so that age group by the uh, 40s and early 50s, um, Lee Coltrane, <coughs> excuse me, Lee, <coughs> Lee Morgan and uh, uh, Clifford Brown and some other musicians came along the next generation. Well, they had set up a program where they were helping them to uh, understand the music and uh, going over and practice well. So he was, Philadelphia had a tradition of that, and that's what's so important about uh, Philadelphia and its music.